Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Today we are going to talk about a very famous interview question, convert a string to integer without using any integer.parse int method in Java. It means you are not allowed to use any parsing method and maybe you are solving this problem in your C language or C sharp or, or maybe .NET Python or Java, whatever. I think formula will remain same here. So what exactly we are going to talk about without using any inbuilt method. So there is an inbuilt method if you talk about, for example, let's see if I'm using int dot, there is a method parse int method and I'll pass this S and I want output should be one, two, three without double quotes. It means a number I want. So in this case, I'll get an integer over here. For example, integer I is equal to this. And if I'm writing system dot out print ln I, this I will be a pure integer number. How will you verify the pure integer number? If I add 10 over here, it will be 133 when you run this program as Java application. So it will be 133 over here. It means this 123 is converted into an integer and adding 10 over here. If you directly write S plus 10, then it will be a concatenation. So it will be 12310 in that case. So it will not be a pure addition of two numbers. So that is what the problem here it is that in this case, in these cases, let's see whenever you are reading some data from from the JSON response, which is coming in the form of a string data or any web application, you are reading the data from Selenium or something like this. In that case, you have to do some calculation. So you cannot do any arithmetic calculation on one, two, three. Okay, because this is a string value. So either you use parse int method, but at a time of interview, they will be asking just to check your knowledge, programming knowledge that uh, <clears throat> without using parse int method, how will you do that? Okay, so this is only for interview point of view. Generally, we generally we use this in real time projects, we use this method. So let me just uh, remove this guy, we don't want to do this, I have already created a method. There are various ways of solving it, we can solve it with the help of ASCII values also or mathematically also we can solve it. So I'll call this function. And this function will return me or maybe it will uh, print the respective uh, integer value over here. So I'll do one thing, I'll declare one uh, integer number which is initially equal to let's see for example zero and then i'm going to create one length over here which is whatever the str dot a length is coming i'll capture the length and then i'm going to start a loop and then i'm going to iterate this particular string up to the length of this string for example if i'm passing one two three to this particular function so when i call this particular function like this and i'm passing s so let's uh, do some test driven development approach. I'm passing S over here. STR will be given to this guy and capturing the length here. And then I'm writing, for example, integer I is equal to zero and I less than what? I less than the length of this particular string and then I plus plus. It means you go to each and every character and then I'm going to derive a formula here. So we have to define some formula which will uh, give you the specific, uh, you know, number. So if you go to the ASCII value, see this is the ASCII table and uh, here you will see that uh, zero is having the ASCII decimal number is 48 for zero. 1, 49, 50 like that and up to nine. So zero to nine means 48 to 57 ASCII values are defined for zero to nine characters and a string is made of the characters, right? So that's why first character will be picked and then I'll do one thing. This first character value I'll be picking from this string, converting that into integer and then I'll 48 I'll deduct from that particular integer. So what exactly I'm saying that first of all that uh, from this particular str whatever you have captured right str dot character add function I'll be using it for which index index is equal to i right now and this character add will give you what see if I'm directly printing this guy system dot out print and give me the character add of i right so let's run it and let's see first of all that uh, if I'm calling this particular function and see we are getting one two three so I don't want one, two, three. I want the corresponding ASCII value of one. So I'll do one thing, this entire str dot character at, I'll be converting that into an integer over here. And then let's see what exactly I'm getting. Then you run it again. And then here I'm getting 49, 50 and 51. It means for one, two, three, I'm getting 49, 50 and 51. This is what I got for one, 49, 50 and for three, 51. And then I'll do one thing in this case, I'll try to first of all remove the system dot out of tell in now I don't need this from this after conversion you do one thing you deduct zero zero means you deduct 48 the ASCII value of zero is 48 so let me deduct 48 from here okay and then store in a specific value in a bracket over here like this 
and then what you do whatever the number that you have created right you write number is equal to let's derive a formula you multiply by 10 first and then add this entire number that you are getting it perfect and then after that 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 is the final number you will be getting it and after the for loop what you do you return the same number here and when you're returning the same number it means instead of void i'll be writing an integer over here so let's see this formula is actually working or not in this case right so let me just do one thing sorry not integer let me write return here okay now let's run it and let's see it is actually working or not so i'll do one thing when you get this when you call this function let me just directly print it on the console system dot and it should give you pure one two three okay not integer sorry not a string one two three it should give you integer one two three so let's run it and let's see here you can see that okay yeah we are getting one two three but how will you justify how will you clarify that okay this one two three is a number so i'll try to add some number over here for example if i'm adding plus 10 it means the output should be 133 not 123 okay or not 12310 so here we are getting 133 so hence probe this formula is absolutely working fine so let's see how exactly it is working actually so let's do a dry run so 1, 2, 3 will be given to this guy, number equal to 0, length is equal to what, length is equal to 3, because 3 characters are there, i equal to 0, condition is satisfied, formula is equal to what, the formula is number is equal to number multiplied by 10, so number multiplied by 10 means initially 0 multiplied by 10 is equal to 0, plus whatever the value is available on the ith position, on i zero position 1 is available, and then what exactly str dot character i it will give you, it will give you the, <coughs> the ASCII value of 1. The ASCII value of 1 is 49 here. So 49 minus 48 is equal to 1. And this entire thing will be what? 48 minus 48. 49 minus 48, it will give you converting into the integer. So you will be getting 0 plus 1 here. So what is the final output? The final output is 1 for number. Okay, then again, i is equal to 1. Condition is again satisfied. And then it will check that this time number multiply by 10. So what will happen next time in the next iteration? 1 multiply by 10 so it will be 10 plus and then again str dot character i i is equal to 1 this time it means ascii value of 2 ascii value of 2 is what a uh, 50 over here it means 50 minus 48 it will become 2 okay so i'll write 2 over here so in this case what will you get you will be getting 12 so what is the latest number the latest number is 12 now again i is equal to a uh, 2 next time i after i plus plus condition is again satisfied and number multiplied by 10. So in this case, 12 multiplied by 10 is equal to 120. Plus, the ASCII value of 3 is what? The ASCII value of 3 is 51. 51 minus 48, it will become 3. And then converting into this integer. So what will happen? 120 plus 3 is equal to 123 you will be getting. And the for loop is done. Because only 3 characters are there. Perfect. And then return 1, 2, 3. So that's why you are getting 1, 2, 3 here. So this is absolutely right formula that we are using it. You can cross check with different uh, uh, things. Let's see, for example, if I'm passing 125, so 125 plus 10, it should be uh, 135 now. So here you can see 135, you are getting it. Perfect. You can pass, let's see the uh, 1, 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. So it should get 11 only. Right, guys? So we are adding this 10 over here only because we want to check that is a pure number or not. So 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. But if you write s plus 10 it means there's a string 1 plus 10 it will give you 1 1 0 because a string will be concatenated so we have to convert that into integer so this is a thing that we can use it easily over here so this is a perfect interview question you can check it and then um, the, ti uh, the time complexity will be simple once a uh, for loop so o of n will be the time complexity with one space auxiliary space that is o of 1 so i think this is a very good solution we can use it here okay other solution is that there are various ways of doing it. So let's create one more function over here. I'll do one thing. Let me just create one more function here. So this also you can do that public static integer. And I'm writing, let's see, uh, whatever convert to integer and then give me the string. So I'm creating one more function and let's see string str convert to integer. Okay. So first of all, I'll do one thing, whatever the string str that you are getting, you convert that into a two character array and then store in a character array. For example, let's see character a ch array that I have captured. Perfect. And then I'll declare one, one more sum is equal to zero initially or number equal to zero or whatever you can use it. 
and then first I'll get the ASCII value of zero. So how will you get it? So I'll create the ASCII value of zero character. So see this, this is my zero character. I'll typecast into an integer. So this will give you what? The ASCII value of zero is 48. So it will give you 48, right? So if it is giving you 48 and store in an integer over here because 48 is an integer number. So I'll write it, okay, fine. This is my uh, zero ASCII value, which is equal to this. So here I'll be getting 48 over here. Perfect. After that, I'll try to iterate this particular array. Okay, this ch array. So I'll write integer i is equal to zero and i less than what ch dot up to the length of the array and then i plus plus. Exactly same formula now, I'll be writing it over here. First of all that, whatever the character is there, I'll convert that character into get the respective ASCII value. Right, so first of all that ch zero, I can use it. So I'll write that, okay, fine, this particular ch array and capture the ith value like this and then convert that into an integer. So I'll be writing one int over here and then store where? Store, let's see the respective ASCII value. For example, let's see this is my uh, ASCII value of that particular integer. Any variable name that you can write it. And then do what? And this sum is equal to what? Sum multiply by 10, first of all, then plus, and then put a bracket, whatever the ASCII value that you are getting it, minus the zero ASCII value that you have captured, because that is what, a 48. That is what exactly we did it over here, right? So I simple write zero ASCII value like this. And then I'll get my final sum. So I'll write a return sum over here. Same thing. And then let's see this is also working or not. So I'll do one thing that uh, I'll be writing system dot out print talent. And then I'll be calling the second function convert to integer with one, which one let's see I'm passing a uh, one, two, three over here. So I'm saying S and plus 20 this time. So 123 plus 20 should be 143. Okay, so let's see this is working or not. So for the second output, it's giving you 143. That is absolutely working fine. It means from this function, you are getting equivalent 123 and then plus 20 is equal to 143. That's why we are able to do an addition over here, which is absolutely working fine. So if you see the difference between these two uh, methods, both are almost exactly same. If you see that first, I've captured the zeroth value for a 48. This zero ASCII value, I'm using it over here for to de derive my formula. So this formula is important here. And one by one, I'm capturing the character value. Same thing, I'm doing it over here. One by one, I'm capturing the each and every character value using a, a normal for loop over here. Okay, you can convert that into a two character array also like this also, you can do that. So both the things are absolutely working fine. Exactly same thing that we are doing it. So if you have any other solution, definitely you can create number of solutions for that. But according to me, I think this is a really good one. Same, both are giving the time complexity of O of N and the auxiliary space of O of one here, which is absolutely working fine. You can check with some other thing. Let's see, for example, if I'm passing only zero and then when you run it and here you will get the output for zero plus 10 is equal to 10, zero plus 20 is equal to 20 over here, which is absolutely working fine. Okay, so I think this is good. You can write one single character value directly zero if it is only zero or only one single character length is equal to equal to one only. Then you can give the corresponding, uh, you know, integer, corresponding integer value immediately you can return that also you can uh, write it. For example, let's see if I'm writing a check over here, if this str dot length, right, is equal to equal to one only single digit character. For example, let's see if I'm passing only one or two, let's see only one. So you don't need to derive a formula and all such things. What you do simple, uh, whatever the STR that you are getting it, um, the, for the same STR, what you do is that, uh, I can do one thing, that STR dot character at, I can use it, pass it to the zero and convert this entire thing into an integer like this and then return the same thing. So let's see it is really working or not. So I'll put a debugger at line number 23 and let's try to, let me just comment it out this one and let's try to do that. So debug as Java application and uh, right now I'm passing only one. So here you can see it is one, the length will be equal to equal to one. The condition is satisfied and return what? Return whatever the zeroth value is available, convert that into an integer and uh, let's see what exactly so one plus 20, it should not give you 
okay it should give you first of all the ascii value but no here it's not working see it's giving you uh, 49 plus 20 so it's giving you 69 over here so what exactly the mistake that we are doing the only mistake that we are doing is that uh, str dot character zero and instead of converting into the integer what we can do is that minus 48 we can write here okay and then you run it again so now it will start giving you the right output 21 okay because one is giving you plus 20 is equal to 21 right so let's uh, try to debug it once again okay so it will stop here length is equal to equal to you can see str is equal to only one length is equal to one condition is satisfied character at 0 1 49 it will give you the ascii value of 0 and uh, the ascii value of uh, 0 is equal to what sorry ascii value of 1 is equal to 49 minus 48 is equal to 1 and then 1 will be returned back okay so 1 will be returned back plus 20 is equal to 21 so that's why the output is 21 over here so you can put a simple condition over here for single character value if i'm passing 0 let's see 0 plus 20 is equal to uh, it should give you 20 only so here you can see it's giving you 20 which is absolutely fine if i'm passing 9 9 plus 20 is equal to 29 it should give you so this is also perfectly fine same condition you can write it uh, over here as well so let me just copy this and paste it over here as well perfect so i think this is the best one you can write it that's all for today guys i hope you liked it this is what people are expecting in a time of interview derive the formula write a logic and they really want to check your programming skills over here very very simple interview question but slightly tricky one when you design the formula over here and you should know and you should aware about the aware of the ascii value of 0 to 9 character the range is 48 to 57 remember this thing okay thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and please please subscribe to the channel guys there are a lot of good things are coming on this channel so please subscribe share with others let me know if you have any issues till then take care and god bless you all